Hi, welcome to San Francisco's Sunset District. This neighborhood stretches along the southern borders of the Golden Gate Park and is a paradise for runners, bikers, hikers, and dog lovers. Sunset District's authentic restaurants and cafes offer plenty of dining options to its residents. Sunset District is often subdivided into three major neighborhoods, the Inner Sunset, Central Sunset, and the Outer Sunset. Now, let's go and explore the neighborhood together. As you can see on the map, the Sunset District is located in the west central part of the city and the neighborhoods bordering it are Parkside, Golden Gate Heights, Forest Hill, Forest Knolls, and Coal Valley. Due to the Sunset District's proximity to the Pacific Ocean, it's usually known as the neighborhood that Fog calls home. This is particularly true on the western parts of Sunset District, namely Outer and Central Sunset. That's why people say the Sunset District's name is a bit of a misnomer. However, although the neighborhood is chilly and foggy during summer, the September to November months are usually warm, sunny, and pleasant. Before residential and commercial development of the Sunset District in 1887, this was an area covered largely by sand dunes, and the 19th century San Franciscans referred to it as the outside lands. Many of the houses in the Sunset District, especially in the central and outer Sunset, share a cohesive look since they were mostly designed and constructed at the same time. Here on the central Sunset, you can find the city's greatest collection of Rusu-style houses, mainly along 33rd to 36th avenues and between Lawton and Kirkham. Oliver Rusu was an architect and developer who added more decorative touches to the buildings to make them more unique and fun. You can spot similar Rusu style houses in other neighborhoods like Marina, West Portal, and Parkside. Irving Street and 9th Avenue are considered to be the main commercial strips of the Inner Sunset, where you can find numerous restaurants and shops. The intersection of these two streets is the epicenter of the neighborhood and the heart of all activity in the area. The central sunset's main commercial drag is Irving Street, from 19th Avenue to around 27th Avenue, as well as some sections of Noriega Street. And Judah Street, between 44th Avenue and La Playa Street, is considered to be the major commercial corridor of the outer sunset. If you are looking for authentic food, you are in the right neighborhood. The Inner Sunset neighborhood is a dining destination, drawing people from all over the city. Here you can find Japanese restaurants, Chinese restaurants, Thai and Siamese restaurants, Persian restaurants, Mexican and Peruvian restaurants, as well as creeperies, American restaurants and cafes, and a lot more. The neighborhood's homey coffee shops and bakeries are where residents gather during the day to chill out with their neighbors. Although there's not much of a nightlife going on in Sunset, you can find a number of sports bars and wine bars here. And don't miss the Central Sunset and Outer Sunset restaurants, bars and cafes. The Sunset District has a lot to offer to those who like outdoorsy activities and sports. The neighborhood is just located south of the Golden Gate Park, attracting more than 13 million visitors each year. The park is a paradise for runners, bikers and hikers and has something to offer for everyone. On sunny days, you can see several people on 9th Avenue making their way to this gorgeous iconic San Francisco Park. Some of the park's special features are the Young Museum, California Academy of Sciences, San Francisco Botanical Garden, the Conservatory of Flowers, 
Japanese Tea Garden, and Murphy's Windmill. Right on the border of Inner Sunset and Golden Gate Heights neighborhood, you can see the popular 16th Avenue Tiled Steps project, a colorful local landmark creating a cheerful experience for people who make their way to Moraga Street. And if you climb these colorful stairs, your reward at the top would be a gorgeous view of the city. The east-west streets in the Sunset and Parkside neighborhoods are named after the influential people of the 19th century. If you look more closely, you'll see there's a correlation between the names of these streets. And yes, you guessed it right, these streets are named in ascending alphabetical order. Grocery shopping is super convenient in the Sunset District with a safe way located in the central Sunset area. You can also find numerous other smaller grocery stores, ethnic supermarkets, and convenience stores in the Sunset District. Also, the Inner Sunset Farmers Market offers fresh local produce every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Sunset District is a family-friendly neighborhood where you can find outstanding public and private schools within its borders. Also, the main campus of the University of California, San Francisco, which is one of the world's leading universities in health sciences, is located in this neighborhood. The Andrew Da streetcar with almost 20 stops in the whole Sunset District makes it pretty convenient to commute to downtown or other areas of the city. In addition to the N Judah line, numerous buses crisscross the neighborhood as you can see on the map. Thank you so much for taking the neighborhood tour with me today. If you've got any questions about the neighborhood or if you are thinking about buying or selling in this neighborhood, feel free to call or email me. Thanks for watching.